Joining us for the News at 6, I'm Dawn Baker. And I'm Mike Sela. New at 6, Savannah City Council meeting today for the first time since Tuesday's election. Members voting on several items, including an ask for millions of dollars in federal help to help low-income areas. WTOC's Flynn Snyder is live outside City Hall tonight. Uh, Flynn, how are they planning to use all that money? Well, Mike Don, this is part of Savannah's one year annual action plan, and it lays out how the city will use millions of federal dollars. That money is meant to improve housing and boost economic development. Right. Savannah City Council members unanimously approving a request for $4.1 million from the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. The goal to fund programs that support low and moderate income city residents. And every agency that comes before us deserves more money. Um, uh, the reality is it's very regimented, very regulated. Included in the request is $2.6 million for housing development and nearly $200,000 for homeless shelters and other programs. Director of Human Services Carrie Reed says there's also money requested for workforce development. So we'll be providing scholarships to low and moderate income individuals so that they can get their job certifications in various industries such as culinary kitchen cook, uh, child development associate, also there is a fast track manufacturing program as well. Reed says the funds are crucial to allowing those in need access to vital support. And they're able to use those federal dollars to be able to gain more dollars that are actually helping us to build housing for individuals within our community. And also they make a way for individuals that may not be able to get a leg up otherwise. And today's vote follows months of public input and is part of the city's five year housing and community development plan. Several council members have expressed the need to address homelessness and improve housing in the city. Reporting live in Savannah, Flint Snyder, WTOC News. Thank you, Flynn. Right now, we do want to give you a live look outside from the WTOC Chatham Parkway Toyota Sky.